Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to our episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today in the driveway is this curiosity that kills the mullet, right? Oh boy. <laughs> I have wanted to get my I have wanted to get my hands, ears, and eyes on this machine for quite some time. And it just has been feasible until you came out, found it, and bought it. I always make the magic happen. So I'm very grateful for that. Um, both of these machines are basically identical in the sense of 208cc engine, 208cc engine, not quiet, quiet technology. One's a little smaller, one's a little larger. One's 24 inches and one is 26 inches. That's okay, I'll pick up where you slack. It's supposed to be about the motor. He's healing. Why does it have to be about size? Well, as if you didn't catch my skid shoe video, size does matter. Please check out that video if you haven't had a chance to. Alrighty, so I think what, I think, what do you think we should do? Do you think we should start the quiet one, shut it down, then start the no, the noisy one, the bad, the bad snow blower? and see we could tell the difference or should we start the quiet one and then see if the bad one the noise overtake overpowers, overpowers that one that sounds great i'll even let you run the big snow blower because i know size matters to you i'll take the smaller one all right this one is a little tricky does anyone see a tim allen Oh. You know what? Let's start them individually, shut okay. them down, and then we'll start them together. That one's a little tricky. I will start this one. We'll let it run for a few minutes and see if we could hear, see if you could hear. You have she to have yet. all the starlight on you for a little bit. She okay. hasn't heard this run yet, so we'll okay. start it. And okay. you could take the microphone. Okay. I'll, I'll start it up. We'll start close. They'll work your way out. Okay. And then we'll come back in, shut it down. You could start this one up, walk it out. Come. This is driveway science. We're just winging this. We're just winging this. Eagle eye, eagle ears. That's what we're going for. Just a bed of analogies over here. All right. This, I can, I this machine is still tricky. It's not, it's, 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 it's set up different. Did anybody notice out front here? Oh, that's right. Are Do the you machines gassed up? The machines are... I was just, I was going to let you start the machines and then not be able to start them. I noticed you didn't gas them up. He didn't, I just want to note from the camera, he didn't gas these up, by the way. I did. I was waiting for him to do it and I waited and I waited and he didn't. But I wanted to, you to note, it's a real pretty sure can, gas can right here. And I also want to let you know that Nobody makes it easier to fill your machines than a sure can. No spills, no mess, unless you're the mister. Especially, Sorry. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Especially with the way gas prices are right now. You don't want to spill a drop. And with sure can, there's no dribble, no drabble. So on that note, maestro, okay. do your thing. Hers like a kitten. To be honest, there's a big difference between our machines and this as far as sound. All right, so she's talking about our Tecumseh powered Aryans. Those are loud no matter what. She, we don't. She does not have a lot of ear time with these these newer Power More LCT Honda copies. I'll give her that. She is right. These machines are a lot quieter than the Aryans Tecumseh powered variant. 110 percent. But that's what you get from when you run a when you run a beast. When you have overhead <laughs> and, and flat. So two different sounds, but again, she's right. She's I, right. I love our machines all day, every day though. I'd rather than kick it up a notch. Uh, oh, we're kicking it up a notch. Oh wow, that is. Wow, it is quiet. I, I told you these are set up differently. The choke totally is Totally different. All right, so go yeah. out towards there. Okay. We're doing a test.
So I would imagine this would be like if you were snow blowing at your neighbor and your neighbors were uh, sleeping next door. I can honestly barely hear from this distance the snow blower. Yeah. It's quiet. I can barely hear it. All right. I was just saying that, um, you know, from the street, like if this was like an early morning snowfall and you had to run a machine to get to work or okay. you're not, you're not waking up any neighbors, really. really? I could barely hear it in the street. Get out of here. No I'm joke. Surprised. No joke. So if you guys remember in this past video, I had to wait for someone to come help me put this machine up and down. And the meanwhile, me waiting for somebody, check out this valve cover. Here's the stock one. Tell me what you think. What do you like better? Black or silver? What do you like? Black, black. or silver? Black. All right, so we'll do that one too. This one has a little bit of oxidation. We could polish that up, but we'll paint it black just because. I just like things to be, you know, streamlined, everything to matchy match. All right, so. All right, so now we're gonna start the other one. This is non-quiet 208cc. A few moments later. Hard for a good time. You guys hear the difference on this one? I actually, I think I do. We'll do the, we'll do the distance check under the driveway. I mean, yeah, I, I could hear it from here, so I didn't make the judgment from the back end of the driver, so you guys could, could check that one out. All right, so let's start this one up again, and then we'll see if the non-quiet the non one overpowers the quiet one. Yeah, it's a, just a little bit quieter, okay. I'm gonna grab this one. Choke. All right, the missus is looking at me and saying, "Big difference." So this really is, this really is quieter. All right, all right. Yeah, you could definitely hear. Now, I just want to do this for myself because I never did. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay, so the missus says it sounds like a lawnmower. And she's right. Holy crap. Holy crap, you could really hear the difference. So what do you think of our driveway experiment? I felt sabotaged. You felt... I feel <laughs> like you. it's something I'm going to need many, many months to get over. Thank you, NGK. <laughs> um, I also feel like, um, yeah, this guy here, you know, yeah, he's quiet. He's really, really quiet. All right, so what I want to do... I am a firm believer. You don't kick an oldie but goodie to the curb. Yeah, so... I love my machine, and yes, yeah, she's loud, but she's a beast. Yeah, so... Both of these machines are a little old in the sense that they are not current. 
You can still buy a variant of this machine to this day. This one is discontinued. You cannot buy this quiet technology motor again. Now, remember in the previous video, we actually kind of broke this down a little bit. The motors are the same. It's just the way they set up are differently. So you would actually have to source the muffler, the gas tank, and all the trimmings. Could be a pretty really expensive pro uh, project if it meant that much to you. Um, I actually have the part numbers for this motor, and I'm going to put in the link in the description if you guys want to go on your own and do some research and, and do some breakdown to see if there's any other motors out there. I mean, because technically, in theory, 28cc is a really nice, powerful engine. Um, if you had to pick which one, what would it be? You know, I've always told you before, at the end of the day, that two extra inches, we've had this conversation, like I, I don't necessarily need the two extra inches for the 26. Uh, the quiet is really nice, but let's face it, for what we do, we're, we're going out, we're doing removal. People aren't quiet. You know, everybody's out there doing removal. We're going all night sometimes, we're going all morning and people they kind of just respect the fact yeah. that you're there and you're there to do a job. You know. This, you know, listen, if someone handed this to me, am I going to turn it away? No. It's a nice machine. It, if you're looking to, as a buyer, you know, if you're shopping for one, yeah, that's a nice that's a nice machine to get yourself into. It's, it's a good looking machine. But at the end of the day, um, if I had to pick between the two, you know, the sound factor doesn't make or break it for me. I want whatever's going to be the best deal. Um, if I'm sh out there shopping, I want the best deal. Um, if I'm someone who doesn't do what we do for, you know, every day, I'm looking for a good deal, something that's been serviced, um, like the things that we've talked about in our videos before. I'm looking at things like skid shoes. I'm looking at things like scraper bars. I'm looking at things like tire change. At the end of the day, I want the biggest bang for my buck. Um, so if it came down to both of these machines at the end of the day, being the same price, offering all the same things, you know what, maybe I would take the quiet pussycat if I wasn't doing, you know, <laughs> snow removal. Pussycat. But at the end of the day, um, you know what, the sound factor really, I wouldn't go above and beyond paying well over asking price for just that sound <clears throat> factor. All right, so what we have to do is what I don't know, and I'll do this and I'll put some screenshots at the end of the video. I'm going to yeah. see how much these machines cost brand new out of the box. I would be really interested to see something <clears throat> like And that. also now with what's going on now with inflation, inflation everything, what are these current values of the machines? In theory, in theory, these this is the cat's meow. This has every feature on a snowblower minus a headlight and heated hand grips. The headlight can actually be defeated with a nice cheap LED headlight. I mean, and you could use that all year round. The heated hand grips, we don't, you know, condone because if you have a good set of gloves and you need to shovel or clean off the cars, you can't take your heated hand grips with us. Um, and I think what you said, these were a hundred dollar difference between when yeah. you bought them. So, the purchase price for this machine versus the purchase price for this machine was a hundred dollars and in my own opinion without the quiet technology i'll be honest with you the joystick shoot control and the power steering forget it the power steering is worth it alone in itself i really enjoy and love power steering so yeah definitely this is the better machine we're going to see how much these cost at their time when they were released i think if i did my um research correct this machine is seven years old. And you can see, remember how we talked about snowblower technology doesn't change because it's just a snowblower? This one, I think, is um, you, when the person came here, I think they said this was two or three years old. We can't believe them. But, yeah. but you could tell the newer craftsmen, the, the, the plastics and the shrouds are set up differently. Mm -hmm. But still, uh, this, one, this machine is definitely newer than this one. And you could tell they're almost identical. They re same paint color, same same everything. Um, the cowling's different because if you have a power steering model, you will never see a cow like this. The power steering model's are always gonna have a cow like this. And remember, our first snowblower that started Pat Day's performance is exactly this machine with a Tecumseh on it. And we actually have the headlight. No heated hand grips. Um, the chute's a little bit shorter, but it's full, toot, full tilt chute control. So, I mean, science experiment complete. I mean, I'm, I'm happy, I'm excited. Thank you so much for doing this for me. Thanks for sabotaging um, my 
Yeah, yeah so experiment. now my inner mullet <laughs> is 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 calm, cool, and collective. Oh, the curls went down. Yeah, we we like to to demyth and, and 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 take some some things back and tell you for what they are and what they're worth. This is really awesome. I had I really really enjoyed this video series. I really enjoyed this. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Because I couldn't have done this, you know, without you. You're I really, welcome. really do. On, on to the next, on to the next find, right? Yeah, I know, right? So I don't have any, uh, besides the only Aryans that I really want to look for, the rare ones, there really aren't any that I want to get my hands on. I'm sure you'll think of something. Maybe besides a rapid track, a rapid track. So we were, I was just about to say. We were offered a rapid track, but we declined it. Um, it defeated our mantra. But this past season, we had the urge for one. We're going to be keeping our eyes out. And the only reason why we want a rapid track is strictly snowblower science. I have a couple of theories in my mind. I did speak to a couple of vendors like Big Bucks Mower. Shout out to him. Check out his YouTube channel. Um, we both had a relationship before we started this. And uh, he's been really good at answering all my questions. If I have any questions about the new and upcoming stuff, because I don't see that a lot, he's there to answer me. So... Uh, I technically want to see it myself. That's what I don't like about some of these review videos. They just show you the snowblower. They don't want to take this thing apart and show you the insides. And to me, the insides is what what matters because Aww, that means. Oh, uh, it's like you, honey. Yes. It's inside that. that exactly. <laughs> Nonetheless, if you commend Mrs. Pate's performance for her effort, one acquiring these machines, two getting these machines to where they are, so we could put them in a video for you, please hit that like button and of course subscribe. Uh, any questions, comments, concerns, hit up in the comments yeah. information on this machine. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I'll put it in this machine here. The model and serial numbers for both will be in the description. And you guys can go out there and do your own due diligence. If you guys have some first-hand experience with these machines, please let us know. Yeah. Due to our experience, both of these machines with the modified impeller are going to kick Old Man Winter right in the nuts. And with the tire package, I know she spent the money on them. You know, she's right. These things are these things are killer. Um, you know, and then you tie in the skid shoes. She did the scraper bar in black. I mean, phenomenal. Really, really streamlined design. I just feel like with these machines here, it's the details that sell. Yeah. We're, um, remember, like, these aren't machines that we're keeping. These are machines that, that we're mm -hmm. flipping. So at the end of the day, you know, they've got some great tread on the tires. Um, these, are, these are pretty mean mm -hmm. tires just to begin with, but those those tire chains just add that like mm -hmm. fierceness level to them um so there's just like those little bells and whistles that you can add to really bring your return mm -hmm. uh every area is different yeah. we talk about this all the but time on the channel but they'll really bring the return these machines are set up for the way we exactly yeah. have our machine set mm -hmm. up before excuse mm -hmm. me before we had the earrings we had our first one yeah tire chains modified impeller yeah. no front weight they just mm -hmm. don't have the provisions for it. We can't add it. We just never did. As we gained experience and gained knowledge, we started from ground zero. We started to build. So both of these machines, God forbid, we have never had a breakdown. And if an Arians went down and the 10 others that we have didn't start, these things are ready to yeah, rock. These can. things are ready to roll. And we can go out there and continue to make money. So definitely buy these with confidence. Um, anything beats shoveling snow. Amen. On that note. It's been a blast. It's been a blast. All right, guys. Later. Later.